नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स ऑन सी आई ई टी एन सी आर टी दिस लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन एंड दिस इज अशन ऑफ क्लास टेन सोशल साइंस माई नेम इज रोजन राजपूत एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन एंड बिसाइड दिस यू आर ऑल्सो वॉचिंग अस ऑन अवर ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज एन सी ई आर टी ऑफिशियल स्क्रॉल डाउन देयर एंड देयर इज अ लाइव चैट बॉक्स live chat box option where you can put your questions and queries beside this you can contact us on our uh, number that is 8800440559 beside all these medium you can mail us on dth.class10@ciet.nic.in so let's introduce the social science today's topic that is people and printing part 1 as this is a second part of this but part 1 is exactly the introduction of this chapter and dr mrena moi mrena moi ji i am sure i am taking the name is correctly ma namaskar and welcome you in this session dr mrena moi mitri ma'am you are an assistant professor of history deess nie ncert new delhi i warm welcome you in this session and we are also so excited to know what is exactly going in this chapter's introductory part okay thank you shrijan yes ma'am good afternoon children um, today i will be telling you the topic you can see on your screen mm -hmm. is people and printing Uh, if you have seen i have already taken an introductory lecture or class of on the same topic you can see it on your screen it's the chapter 5 of print culture and the modern world so hmm. there we have divided the chapter into three sections in the previous class that i took i only spoke about the uh, printing machines and how printing came into uh, uh, europe and from where it traveled today we will be discussing the impact of printing on people particularly with reference to europe hmm. in the next part hopefully which i will be taking very soon there i will be discussing how what impact the print have on indian people yeah or whatever is left we take in next session absolutely yeah so i am very uh, excited to know ma'am a uh, brief introduction of today's topic okay so children you will realize that you can see it on your screen that we identify with the coming of print culture we identify mainly three changes that happened hmm. first that the changes with relationship between information and knowledge second was change in the relationship between authorities and institutions and of course the third one is influenced popular perceptions and opened new ways of looking at things now when i'm talking about information and knowledge we have to keep in mind that now with printing coming into being we have a lot of material available easily to people a lot of books are getting printed a lot of other material booklets pamphlets are getting printed hmm. so till now printing was uh, for very few people who could read but now with the coming of print culture the printing goes to a lot more many people it is more accessible to people hmm which helps them shape their opinions about uh, information that they are receiving uh, then how they want to react to the authorities how they want to oppose to the institutions of say monarchy or anarchy we will discuss later in the session all these things hmm. as you are now in class 10 but further you are uh, uh, thinking of joining media and especially print media so that is really interesting to know by social science what is the history doing in printing okay hmm. so so uh, ma'am uh, i also want to know uh, how did the publisher promoted reading that time okay so first we will start with the fact that when we talk about printing and printing happening in a very large scale some of the important things that we notice is that it reduced the cost of printing hmm. till now when we have this when printing or writing was done or handwritten material was written the time it took was very long and we had very few limited copies to print or hmm. read but with printing coming into being we have a lot of material very easily available which is much uh, cost effective yes. and of course multiple copies of the material is available or is accessible to lot of people hmm now what happens is when we talk about readership or the content that is there hmm 
we are talking about a period right when printing had come into being, we see that the literacy rates okay. are low. Hmm. So, now how do people read a book? If somebody is not able to read a book, then the publisher is trying to think how do I make the person look forward to a hmm. book. He, the publishers come out with the idea that if a person or people are unable to read the book, but they can listen to a book. Hmm. So, they come out with the idea that we should come out with uh, content or material that people can listen to. So, hmm. usually th what they select is they select folk tales or uh, ballads which are say local stories or hmm. local tradition. Drama and ha, all these things they are putting so, so that somebody can read and they were generally these stories were read in a a word you can see in your textbook which is called a tavern. Tavern is a place or a small hmm. little hotel type of a thing where food and drinks are served. So, okay. in a in an atmosphere like that where so many people are sitting enjoying their food, hmm. their drinks, uh, here we are talking you should remember in the context of Europe. Hmm. So, there when they are eating, drinking in between when uh, one particular person is reading a ballad which is in the form of a verse, everybody gets to listen to that. That hmm. is how the publishers try to come out to popularize printing. Okay. Then uh, uh, what were the consequences of uh, increased literacy rate ma'am? Okay. So, children you have to uh, realize that when we began with printing, hmm. there was a lot of uh, the literacy rates were very low. By the time we come to 17th century gradually, the hmm. literacy rates have gone high. Okay. And now, people are trying, uh, of course, industrial revolution has not yet happened. Hmm. So, people are wanting to, you know, read books that are easily available and also uh, pocket friendly, not very expensive books. Hmm. So, in this uh, era when literacy rates have gone high, a very important role is being played by the churches. Now, what do the churches do? The hmm. churches play a very significant role by opening schools in various parts of you know Europe. They hmm. go to small little towns and open schools where children can come and basically learn to read the Bible. Hmm. But as literacy rates grow or in start increasing, people start appreciating more popular literature. No. Yes. Now, we have when we talk about the church, the church talks about religious literature, the hmm. Bible, the other things associated with it. But when we talk about popular literature, it talks a popular literature is literature where it is very popular with the most of the people, everybody accepts the stories hmm. like in the previous slide you must have seen, we talk about folk tales, we hmm. talk about ballads. So, these things now become popular. Now, yes. some of the important interesting stories associated with this hmm. are that Europe, the booksellers, how do they popularize the book? Okay. They used to hire people called peddlers. Hmm. Now, who are peddlers? Peddlers are the people who hmm. you know, ride a bicycle and se sell small little things here and there. Hmm. So, it was the duty of the peddler to you know, go from one village to another selling these small hmm. little books. Now, uh, if you can see it on the In modern time, we see like sales executive. Yes, yes, yes. That hmm. is what his purpose was. So, these uh, hmm. uh, these peddlers would take uh, carry in their basket different types of books and you can see it on the screen. Hmm. Uh, there are three, four books that I have mentioned. Okay. One is uh, Almanac hmm. or a ritual calendar. The other is Ballad. That th and folk tales, one is chap book and one is hmm. bibliothek blue. I will give a introduction small small uh, lines or two about each one of them. Now, almanac or a ritual calendar hmm. is a type of a calendar which shows the astronomical dates, important you know uh, positions of the stars hmm. and such ritual and associated with the bible are mentioned in these books. These are like small little diaries you know. Now, when we talk about ballads and folk uh, tales, hmm. now ballads I have already mentioned okay. are small uh, or uh, stories from the rural areas which are written in verse and also the folk tales, local stories that are also represented in the hmm. um, books. Another uh, book you can see is called chapbook. 
Now, hmm. chat book is a type of a book which you can screen, see on your screen, hmm. the yellow color book, is history of the Jack the Giant Killer. Hmm. This is a chat book. Now, chat books are small pocket books like pocket dictionaries you have seen. Hmm. These are small pocket books which are not very heavy and very small in size, hmm. which anybody can easily carry in their pocket and hmm. Uh, read it is not very thick also. These chap books were also sold by uh, uh, chap men. Those mm. who sold these books like almanac was sold by a peddler, mm. chap books were sold by boys or men who, who were called chap men. Okay. Now, they used to sell these books from again you know they could be selling it in a port or in a you know a village market mm. and this chap books were mainly so uh, uh, phenomena of England. The other book which you can see on your screen is called the Bibliomaniac, Bibliothek Blue. Hmm. Now, what is Bibliothek Blue? You can see blue come, it is particularly specific to the region of hmm. France and because the cover was blue in color, it was called Bibliothek Blue. Hmm. Now, what is interesting about this book is that it was a very, uh, the paper quality of this book was very uh, hmm low quality paper and it is a very thin book and again it is a very uh, pocket friendly book which you can easily carry in your pocket and uh, it, it generally had a lot of interesting stories mm. to uh, display. But this is how you can see what is a bibliothek blue and the other is the chat book. Mom, is there not believed to make cover attractive that time? No, but see you mm. have to uh, realize that these uh, printing is still even though it is being done on a large scale, but hmm. unlike today it is not at that large scale, the, the machines are still evolving. So, a lot yes. of times what happened would, would happen is that they are available, but because you know hmm. uh, it the cost are still very high to make it accessible and not everybody can buy even if the books are easily available. Hmm. So, that is why it was uh, it ca it could not be made that attractive because yeah. colored print is yet to come. Mm -hmm. We have only two colored prints you can see mm -hmm. you know, it is blue and black or any two colors are there mm -hmm. not many colors were used. Yeah, because uh, we are take a book by uh, their attractive uh, behind. <laughs> no, by the time I will uh, come to the next slide you mm -hmm. will see how by uh, 19th century we come up to very very attractive looking books where okay. the book colors are very, uh, they are multiple color books. Mm -hmm. But still we are still struggling with you know uh, two toned books generally. Yeah, that is why I said ki uh, do not take book uh, with its cover. Cover, yeah. yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, before I start again ma'am, I also want to know, could you elaborate uh, on the religious uh, debates and the impact of print on it? Okay. Hmm. Shrija, before we go to the uh, religious impact, I will uh, uh, like to discuss with the children a, a point or two about here and there. Hmm. Now, when we have talked about, you have seen on the screen, we have talked about chap book, we have spoken about almanac, we have spoken about bibliothek blue. Now, we have to discuss about the content, what was written in these books. Hmm. You can see on your screen that what was basically written was romantic stories, romances, a small little short story sort of a thing, yeah. which people of course uh, enjoyed reading. Hmm. The other was histories, histories would be about the local histories uh, hmm. of the people, their areas. Another very important uh, idea or uh, uh, topic that was often written, you can see children on the screen, hmm. are the book covers of these uh, four names that you can see. Isaac Newton, you all know, hmm. then there was a very f uh, famous philosopher Thomas Pine, the other one is Voltaire, and the last one is Rousseau. Hmm. On your screen, the cover pages of all the books that they have written, each from them is there on your screen. Now, what happens is that the ideas of scientists and philosophers hmm. when such content was available for the people to read, hmm. what change it brought was that people got to understand the scientific ideas of the times. That made them question lot of things around them very critically. So, this was one of the important reasons hmm. why printing had to play a very important role in shaping the understanding of the people about their surroundings. Hmm. Now, we go to the question which Srijan you were asking about the religious debates. Hmm. Now, till now we have discussed 
all that is good or all that was praised about printing. Okay. Now, we will discuss is it always good, was everybody happy, mm -hmm. how were other people reacting. So, it cannot be you know a coin has two sides to it. Yeah, but there is many sides. Yes, yes. So, here uh, we will be discussing uh, uh, why hmm. religious debates were uh, uh, quite a uh, quite a issue that was hmm. uh, addressed in the printed material. Now, when we talk about these debates, what happens is that this is the time when everybody, a lot of pe uh, people, a lot of uh, times people start contesting printing. Why? Hmm. Because when people get to read more they acquire knowledge, they start to contest or question the authorities, question the people hmm. around. So, because Europe the time we are discussing was primarily controlled by the Roman Catholic Church, hmm. you all must be aware of okay. in Italy. Hmm. Now, they feared that if a lot of people get to read a lot of literature or other content, they will start questioning and people will become irreligious, they mm. will not accept whatever is being you know promoted by the church. So, that mm. is why they feared that if too many people become educated, mm. then that will cause a lot of trouble to us. So, that is from where they contest mm. uh, the uh, printing. Okay. Now, we mm. have two very very important interesting examples that hmm. you can see on your screen. Now, hmm. one is uh, Martin Luther uh, hmm. who wrote uh, the next slide I will show who wrote the 95 thesis uh, the title of his and the, on the hmm. left of your screen you can see how it looked and hmm. here in this uh, note or the points that in 95 hmm. points that he made he prepared a list of the uh, points that came to his mind about mm -hmm. contesting the Bible. He had objection to a lot of things that were written in mm -hmm. the Bible and what he did is uh, he uh, wrote it and nailed it on the door of a church. Mm -hmm. After that what happened is with that once people read it, people got to mm -hmm. start also questioning, they became aware. This is like a revelation. Absolutely, this is a that is why we call it a hmm. protestant movement. It comes from the word protest. Hmm. So, he made people think why is that we should blindly accept the church, hmm. why we should all question what we do not agree with the church. Hmm. Similarly, the other uh, name you can see on your screen is Menocchio, hmm. who reinterpreted the Bible and formulated an alternative view of the God and creation. Hmm. different from the Roman Catholic Church. Now, what is interesting about this hmm. is that when he did this, the church was again very offended hmm. by his behavior. So, okay. they decided that from now onwards, we have to keep a track of all that is being printed. Hmm. We cannot let every book that comes to be printed. So, they started creating or uh, having a list of banned books hmm. around 16th century, late 16th century they started having a list of banned books. Now, we go to the next uh, image children if you can see, here you can see on the uh, left corner you can see hmm. Martin Luther and he just nailed his 95 theses on the uh, door, door of, of the door of the church hmm. and he and people how curiously people are looking at what he has written and what he has understood. Hmm. To the center is the new or a new testament of Bible which hmm. he interpreted and wrote. This okay. is the first copy of the translation of the new testament hmm. and the next uh, image on the right is the front cover of the book. Now, what is most interesting here why I wanted you all to see this picture is that hmm. this is the impact of print culture. When this book first got published, hmm. it brought a revolution and what was the uh, not just the revolution, what was most interesting is that within the first 3 or 4 weeks, couple of weeks, hmm. 5000 copies of this book were sold. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So, not uh, and also the second edition, hmm. we are talking about a period about 16th century almost 400, 500 years hmm. back. Hmm. The second edition of 
the same testament was out within the next couple of months. So, you can realize that how people were curious to read more about the New Testament or uh, the different stand that Martin Luther King had taken on the Roman Catholic Church and their rules and regulations hmm. that they interpreted through the Bible. Yes. So, uh, be, uh, next I want to ask you ma'am, what were the ways in which impact of print culture were, has understood uh, with the reference in French revolution? Okay. Hmm. Ah, Shrijan, so we will, before we go to the French revolution, I will first talk about uh, uh, some of the things that we start to notice once the literacy rates have gone high and people are reading more, the protestant uh, re movement has also to have happened. So, hmm. some changes we start uh, to observe. Now, okay. more and more people are getting into reading, the more and more the people are asking questions. Hmm. What are they asking questions about? They talk, they get, this is the main source of information. When hmm. if you observe in your daily life also, if you are reading a book and hmm. you are telling the story to your friend, the story will be over in 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Hmm. But if you pass on to the same story book to your friend, the friend gets to read the whole book, enjoy it in his own ways. Hmm. So, books play a very interesting role. So, when printing is happening and lot of lot of books are getting printed and they are getting in circul they are getting circulated. The people get more aware of you know, their own emotions, their own feelings about hmm. authority and they also start believing or understanding what is right and wrong. That books are one of the best ways to enlighten yourself. Hmm. So, they, let True, you, they help you to question yourself, to question the surroundings, question everything that you find problematic. Hmm. So, it books teach us reason and they stimulate our intellect. They let us think differently, they make us question things and we of course become better human beings when we read the books. Yes. Now, Srijan you were asking me about um, hmm. French revolution. Yes. Now, French revolution when we are talking about French revolution, hmm. there are often about very uh, imp three important debates that are there surrounding the uh, impact print literature had on uh, French revolution. Okay. If you can see on the screen, hmm. the, uh, there were the, the three important points that were there are, it popularized the idea of hmm. enlightened thinkers. Okay. The second was it created a culture of hmm. debate and dialogue hmm. and, and the last one is outpouring that criticized and mocked the reality. Hmm. Now, I will explain these points a little more. Okay. Now, when we are talking about uh, French revolution, hmm. of course, you have it in the previous chapters, you must have read about the French revolution, I, I believe it is the first chapter of your textbook. Here, the main three debates are the, the first point if you can see popularize the idea of enlightened thinkers. Now, when I say uh, popularize the idea of enlightened thinkers, hmm. here when some people are reading the books, they are able to question the norms. So, mm -hmm. they question the legitimacy of the social order, the question, they question the problems that are there in which people are mm -hmm. uh, asking them to uh, uh, think or do. The other is that created a culture of debates and dialogues. The okay. more we read, the hmm. more we learn to question and when we learn to question, we automatically like to engage with each other yeah. in a dialogue where I can put forward my opinions, hmm. you can put forward your opinions and we can uh, of course agree, we can of course disagree and of hmm. course you can always come out with an alternative opinion. Hmm. So, books give us a flexibility to True. think. Yes. The last uh, is that uh, outpouring that criticized and mocked reality. One of the most interesting uh, things about yes, ma'am. But you quickly can you could uh, throw some lights on print culture of the 19th century as we have okay through okay. some minutes. Okay, so I'll quickly brush through this. So hmm. when we talk about the 19th century, the mo we are talking about the industrial revolution. So here we the three main uh, uh, sections who were impacted were the women the children hmm. and workers. Okay. Here on your screen children you can see how lot of literature around the French revolution was coming, a lot of publishing houses were coming out with novels that were only 
talking about children and hmm. the stories for the children. So, a uh, lot of fairy tales were coming out there, there was a f you can see on your screen how there was a hmm. press in France which was established in 1857. Now, the other important uh, uh, section that was impacted were women. Hmm. Now, you can see the word penny magazine in okay. the screen. Now, hmm. penny magazines are very uh, interestingly they are made or manuals to hmm. help the woman to behave properly. Okay. So, these are very interesting manuals hmm. where the woman can read to learn to you know knit to make a sauce or something these small hmm. small little details. Yeah, or how to walk, how Haan, to make lot of how to dress up, up yes. how to tie your hair. So, these hmm. things were another very interesting thing uh, that we can observe in uh, this period is that there were very many hmm. female authors they were coming who were writing novels where you can see on the screen we have hmm. Jane Austen then the Bronte sisters. Who those who were talking the primary main character of the novels would be females hmm. very interestingly hmm. and these females would be very opinionated strong who had a lot of uh, you know a personality of their own very different from hmm. a male dominated society. So, yeah. this was and lastly hmm. we have workers who were greatly also impacted by this. Hmm. So, uh, time to wrap up the show as topic is going to very interesting way. Dr. Ray is with us. Ma'am, thanks a lot for this very interesting topic. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Dr. Minamoy Ray is uh, with us uh, as ma'am is an assistant professor of history from NIE NCRT New Delhi. And time to wrap up the show. Before wrapping the show, I also want to, uh, I also want to say you the next session is 2.30 beyond some minutes. Uh, we will take mathematics session of class 10th and the topic is the area of circle part 1. And there is an uh, important piece of information regarding your textbook. This is also showing on your screen. You can download your book as soft copy from e Shala Diksha and NCRT mobile app. And uh, you can order your book from our sales counter working is across the country from New Delhi, Kolkata, Ahmedabad, Guwahati and Bengaluru. They uh, working uh, in the time between 9.30 to 6 a.m. and uh, on all working days also. So, for more information, please visit ncertbooks.ncert.gov.in and for more updated all sessions in information, please visit www.ncert.nic.in. Time to wrap up the show and my name is Rajan Rajput. Taking, take care of yourself and Namaskar.